Did you know that you could disable ESLint rules by using comments in your code? Let's take a look and see how it's done. To disable a rule on a single line, we can use the ESLint disable next line comment. Two forward slashes followed by ESLint disable next line followed by the rule name. Now, if I leave the rule name off, it will disable all of the rules for the next line. Specifically for this one, I'm looking for no unused bars. And now you can see that the rule on line two is disabled, but it's still applying to lines four and six. To disable this rule for the entire file, I can use the slash star syntax and then use ESLint disable and then the name of the rule, which is no unused bars and then star slash. And now we can see that this rule has been disabled for this entire file. Now let's say we only wanted to disable the rule for a block of code. We can use this same command, but then re-enable it at the point of our choosing. Right after line four, I can add the same comments again, slash star, yes, lint, and then enable, and then the rule name, which is no unused vars, star slash. And now you can see that the rule is disabled between line one and line five, but it still applies here to line seven. And if I wanted to disable every rule in this file, I could use the same slash star comment syntax, get rid of the rule name, get rid of the enable comment, and now every single rule in this file will be disabled. For more information, be sure to check out the link video below.